Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here at Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, bringing you episode number 11 of uh, Three Beers and Whiskey featuring icons of industry. Here's beer number two. Okay, so the EP that you're working on, not the EPK, but right. the actual EP the that you're working EP. on. Yes. Um, so this has turned out to be, it seems like a really hot topic of, um, the, first of all, how the music industry has changed. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll be bold enough to say for people from our generation or era where it was the full length vinyl, right. we listened to that and, yeah. and that was, that was, you know, side A, side B, the right. full thing. And then, you know, CDs, this you listen to it, take the plastic yeah, off yeah, and yeah, the bifold yeah. and you open it up. Um, and then of course CD where it was a full length, you know, it was the whole story. Right. Now we've moved forward 40 plus, plus years yeah. and it's the, the world of the internet and um, social media and digital downloads right. and digital plays has turned it into uh, the, the forest is not made of full length anything, it's made of singles. Yeah. And or if somebody's brash and brave enough, they throw out uh, a mini, you know, three or four, maybe a six song, yeah. you know, disc. So is that part of where you're going on your EP? Is taking into consideration how the actual environment is well, today, or let's just get something out. Let's put, let's get these tracks together and get our I mean, foot. It'll definitely out. take. Our I mean, foot it'll definitely out. take. You know, quicker to put it out than you know try to write twelve exactly. songs and get it. Oh yeah, out. Right. yeah. Like, a, a year down mm -hmm. the line, and we played two shows because we're writing this album, and no one knows who we are still, or yeah. just like, put or something, something out. out. Yeah. And then you know, but quality though, right? Not just quality, quality. Right. quality. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, so, what do you think about it? it <coughs> I mean, what what is your like again for me and you? Yeah. It's you know I've got a whole bunch of vinyl that's over there. So stuff that actually yeah. is a little bit older than me. Um, well, like the, like the last EP we did, uh -huh. uh, they weren't with me, but uh, Alchemy Ways, I put it on a cassette tape. So that's, on, that's on cassette. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Old school. Okay. Y'all know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cassette. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If my daughter, hey. if my daughter's watching, yeah, yeah. she's all 22, and I'm sure she is. So we, we talked about like what songs are going to be on side A and what uh -huh. songs are going to be on side B, right. right? So we and so we mastered it to, to cassette tape and then released it on cassette tape. Mm -hmm. Limited edition. So it's all about limited edition. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but you know, well, that's funny you say that. We kind of laugh about it, but that's almost what it's like now with with social media, and with the internet, just, with the downloads, the streaming is yeah. is it's not necessarily limited edition, but it's like let's get these this one song out, and two months now let's get the next song, or let's get this three songs out, and in six months we can drop well, it. And so yeah. it still makes it exclusive, but right. you're able to continue to keep yourself relevant yeah. and um, with people wanting more and, and going So out. earlier you had mentioned um, how you grew up playing uh, keyboard. Yeah. In church. Church. Yes. So how did you guys uh, get into music or Ooh, liking music good or question. just to get into music? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I've been Wait, playing music. Wait, first, Jason? No, Cliff. Or Cliff, okay. Yeah. So I've been playing music um, since like fourth grade, you know, in school band and stuff. And then uh, when I was about 15, I heard Metallica for the first time and realized that I wanted to be Cliff Burton yeah. when I grow up. Um, so you know, I, I got a bass and you know got really into metal, uh, a lot of Iron Maiden, a lot of you know Megadeth, all that good stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then just. just with and music. then you started broadening your horizons. Yeah, Once you started yeah. to learn how to play it yeah. and appreciate it, then it went from what you like to listen to and you try to mimic to go, oh, I can do more. Right. So, he writes, so, much. so he writes uh, for uh, scores for, for movies. You yeah. get a score for a, a, a show, right? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, one of the Brag stories. about yourself, sir. Oh, yeah. Tell us. Right. No, it's yeah. 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 right? That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I, I love a lot of different kind of music. Like my parents, uh, growing up, you know, I listen to the music they listen to. And it would be. I think we all are forced into that. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> so it would be like Peter Tosh, and then Van Morrison, and then Genesis, and then Triumph, and then. Uh, None of this sounds bad so far. <laughs> yeah, you know, like very different stuff. And then, okay. you know, I discovered Metallica and Daft Punk, and. Um, 
You lost me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that was you know, good. Right. Stuff that I got into that they weren't necessarily so. Um, you know, a lot of different styles all sort of come together. Cool. Um, but and, that series that you did, right? So right. Right. Yes. And then I also love uh, film and movies. And, well, that's the reason I became a musician way back in fourth grade is because I wanted to play music from Star Wars. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, that's pretty epic there yeah, because that those those are some scores right mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. And I got you know, I got older, I started, you know, getting more of it, I started listening to things, and then uh, the Dark Knight came out and that soundtrack really like drew you hit in. something and like, oh I got it, I gotta do So this. how did you so you just did you take music in school, high school, college, whatever, yeah. where you started writing, and so then you just says, oh, I can do this, and you started writing the show. that picture yeah. with the, with the oboe that you have with the, remember you have a picture like with the uh, Michael Bolton kind of thing going on? Oh, oh, oh no! You know what I'm saying? Yeah! Yeah, my senior picture. Yes. A suit and a saxophone, a lot of hair. Looks like Michael Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> Yearbook pictures. Mine <laughs> is like I, I'm the only one in this, this the yearbook wearing a hat. I've got like my nice Panama Jack hat, and I have long curly, curly, <laughs> curly hair. hair. It was like yeah. So enjoy the oboe with my gold yeah. Right. No, saxophone. Saxophone. Sorry. Saxon. Yeah, yeah, saxon. Alto. Yeah. Tenor. Yeah, alto. Yeah. Alto sax. Okay. Very. And then what can I, as a, you know, a fan a of the fan, awesome music yes. scene? What can I expect from your show? A lot of energy. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, especially from this one right here. Is there any yeah. dancing like from the crowd? Um, there... It depends on the song. Yeah. Okay. What's up, Riley? Yeah. Singing, and then uh, I start hitting her keys, and she's like, "What's happening?" Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Yeah. The CD. Um. A lot of passion. All of that does. Yeah. What you're saying it translates when because I don't sing, I don't play guitar, I don't play drums. I, you know, I have. A passion for music, which is why I've kind of dedicated my spare time, and and my wife has graciously, like you know, humored me and and going to shows a lot, taking pictures and writing up about it, and and meeting musicians and bands and doing all this. But the biggest thing I take out of it is when I'm in the audience because I don't play, because I don't sing, I have no room to judge what the band is doing or. Oh, somebody did a wrong note, and they did that. But it's the energy. Yes. The band is having fun on stage. They're right. having a good time on stage, and that absolutely always translates out into the audience. Yeah. And, and I don't know anybody out there agree. I mean, you're watching yeah. a show, and the band's having a good time. That really makes you know everybody else have fun. Right. And then you're talking. It feeds back. Definitely. It like, if we're really playing and we see everyone dancing, then we're like, oh, we're doing something right. <laughs> right. And I, like, As opposed to you're playing and they're on their phones. Yeah. Right. yeah. And you're all like, come on, man. So we didn't have that many people on our show, but we got good Your feedback mom. at the end. My mom was there. But there you go. I think, but Hi, mom. Mom. Hi, <laughs> no, we got good feedback, I think, from yes. people coming up to us and saying, man, you yeah. guys have a good sound. What is your mom's mom. name? Anna. Anna. Hi, Anna. <laughs> so, do do you have another show booked yet beyond this? No. Or so, so that's why we want to get BK. Exactly. Yeah. Because we want to get. I mean, it'd be good to get uh, on some bills or some other acts that are maybe a little further along than we are. Greg, so we're Destiny, over at one to one. Y'all stay tuned and listen to this afterwards, and uh, you know we'll make some phone calls and get these kids. Uh, <laughs> At your club, um, yeah, Greg Ware and then, oh, Greg and Destiny Ware own the one to one right okay. there on South Mark Cross. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I've heard good things about uh, this. That's you know what I'm saying. That things are happening. Amazing yeah, place, happening, yeah. Then. And uh, you know, from what I've heard from you guys, yeah, there's not really a night where you guys couldn't slip in onto a bill with your style is exactly the awesome music that Greg loves and books in his place all the time. Cool. So, we just need yeah. check, I mean, it's it's about relationships mm -hmm. and meeting people and kind of getting out there. Yep. So you know it's, yeah. it's we're competing with a lot of different. I mean, Austin it's, has a lot of good bands. So okay, I mean, you're right. You're competing with a lot of other bands, yeah. but but the landscape of Austin music scene is is so ridiculously huge. There's places that 
are on East Sixth. Yeah, East true. of Thirty Five. There's so many venues um, with the microbrewery thing that's happening, pop up with all these new breweries and. Everybody that's opening their businesses here in Austin, mm -hmm. they know that the musicians and the music scene is a vital part of Austin. And so they're making room for in their bar, in their venue, in their restaurant. So um, do you guys we're gonna have go and support any local music in Austin? Do you have yeah. like a favorite band? Uh, Ooh, friends? Yeah, yeah. Are so band? yeah, there's a question. Um, yeah. Like, what's who Local do you Austin go, music, who do you who support? Do you go and watch like on a Friday night, Saturday night. Well, I've been on to uh, San Jack Saloon a few times, and I've seen which San Jack. It's not San Jacinto. And okay, the one downtown. Yeah, because yes. there's another one on Riverside, I think. No. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, see now everybody went all south. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right into the San Jack, right there, Riverside. Then we go there. You're thinking of the Jackalope. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. I'll shut up now. All right. Same Jack. Same Jack. So we... Take a shot. 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 Settle down. Settle down. So who do you go at the Sand so Jack Saloon? So who do you go and support? I've seen, I've seen Adam Navarro and the Will Southern Band there a few times. Okay. They've come back and they just absolutely tear the roof off. Mm -hmm. Like just real good. Real good old country music. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool, cool. And they think, any of the names you recognize over there? Kendall's our resident, like. He's country our resident boy. country boy. Country boy. <laughs> uh, no. uh, and yourself, sir. You One of the last bands I saw was uh, 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 Full Service. Mm -hmm. So they're my friends from way back. Actually, the, bait, the guitar player and vocals from that band used to play bass in Icons a long time ago. Okay. So I went to their show. And then, who was that guy we saw at the Night Owl one? Remember we saw the. He's, he's remember his name? But anyway, I saw he's, he plays an acoustic guitar and he does all these weird kind of uh, gymnastics with it and stuff. I can't remember his name right now. Yeah, with at, the night out, start flipping, looping stuff. Around. Yeah, with the with the fit with the uh, bow and all oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm and sorry. yourself, ma'am. And also, I don't know if we told them our first show. We had uh, Blake Jerson. Oh, yeah, Blake Jerson. So we partnered with other yeah. local up and coming. Uh, bands right. as well. So on the so, be on the bill with you. Bill, yes. Yeah. Okay. Very so. good. So have you have you do you go out to any of the live music? In I do, I go to a lot of concerts. Okay. And um, so the last concert I've been to. What was the last concert? Um, I've been to so many. Like <laughs> <laughs> so such a yeah. terrible such yeah. a terrible thing in Austin. Like I've been to so many shows. I don't know. Oh, uh, I went to see um, Corey Henry. Corey Henry. He's not. Corey. Well, yeah, that was the last show I went to at. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're under pressure. See, this, yeah, this, is, pressure, this yeah. is the crime. Of, yeah, exactly. You're like, now we know why game shows people are like, that was an easy question. Why couldn't you answer it? It was like the cameras and lights are like, uh, uh, So we got in the house. We got a fertility house in the house, right? Fertility house? Yeah. And they're an awesome band. Dude. Hey, well, very good. They're in the well, house, see, man. Now they're looking at like, hey, we got to hit this guy. Uh, so, and, then, uh, and my buddy Ariel here has got dropping music too, so, you know. See, and this is. That, thank you very much for pointing this out. Will Tompkins, from me and everybody here at Three Beers and a Whiskey, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you uh, like what you saw, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey. Thank you all very much. Hey.